The UN Board of Curators is set to meet later this morning to discuss a few upgrades to the university's campus. This morning, ABC 17's Nia Henson did some digging into the university's plans and joins us live from the newsroom. And Nia, one of those projects is expected to cost the school $150 million. Kennedy, that rather pricey project will be one of the largest ever taken on by the campus, and it refers to a new engineering and applied science building that the university is looking to build. Over the next five years, the university says it plans to bring in about 100 new faculty, undergraduate, and graduate students in the College of Engineering and Arts, and is looking to build something bigger to support the research that will be done within those walls. The building will consist of over 100,000 square feet of wet and dry lab space, and services will be built north of Laffer Hall on 6th Street. And if you're familiar with the campus at all, this is where Parker Hall, Noise Hall, and the old student health buildings used to be before they were torn down as part of the university's space reduction plan. The university is seeking approval of an engineer before the project can officially be worked on, but it is expected to be completed by November of 2026. At that meeting, the university is also introducing the possibility of a new, larger research reactor to replace the current one that has been in use for 56 years. And according to the university, its current reactor is the highest powered reactor in the country. The new reactor could help in creating a breakthrough in research for various cancers, including prostate and breast cancer, and could help attract researchers and investors to the, to the university. And Kennedy, this project is a little more pricey and would cost the university a billion dollars to build and it'll also take us a little while before we actually see it in action as it will take about eight to ten years to be built and that meeting is set to happen at the Havern Center today. Reporting live from the newsroom, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. All right, thanks Nia for that report. And the board will also vote on another one-year extension for the 2024 school year. That gives new students the option to submit SAT and ACT scores and discuss revisions to the current School of Medicine Honor Code.